Hey everybody, Arnaldo Woffman here. In the last video, I actually did a review on the ADJ Icon Profile. And one of the comments that I had on there, actually quite a few of them, in the different forums and places where I posted the video, the comments were generally, well, it's a 32 watt fixture, it's not as bright as my 80 watt LED, or whatever the case may be. And it drives me nuts. Because I even specifically said in the video, and if you haven't seen the video, make sure you watch it, but I even said in the video, Wattage doesn't matter. And I talked a little bit about how surface size really is important here. Well, let's go one step further. And that is, why do DJs care about wattage? You shouldn't. But first of all, if LEDs have taught you anything, it's that wattage doesn't matter. Because suddenly a 10 watt LED is brighter than your 120 or 250 watt fixture, you know, halogen, old school halogen fixture. Well, but LEDs are more efficient. Yes, well, not all LEDs are created equal. So one LED can be more efficient than one L another LED. Same thing with the MSD, you know, the uh, Platinum Series lamps. But optics really play something that's important. But let's go into a hypothetical scenario to show you how aggravated it is that people even worry about wattage. And that is... Let's pretend that, you know, you meet with a bride, right? You sit down and she asks you all the important questions. You know, well, uh, uh, what, what, what can you do as far as, you know, MC abilities? How are you going to enhance my party? What kind of mixing do you do? What's your music theory? You know, all, all the good questions that we wish a bride would ask, right? You know, uh, why, why do you believe you're the best service in the area? And then after everything's said and done, she's like, listen, I really want my party to be loud. How many watts do you have? And you're like, well, you know, the answer is not that easy. You know, it's no, no, I need lots of watts. N no, it's, you know, it, it really depends on where we place the speakers. And, you know, not all DJ speakers are created equal. So you're trying to explain to the bride that wattage doesn't matter. Then you go and turn around and comment on my videos that, well, this light or this speaker is only this many watts. It's the same principle, people. First of all, Get wattage out of your vocabulary. And I really wish that lighting and audio manufacturers would do the same thing too. But unfortunately, people look at wattage as a unit of measurement. And it isn't. I mean, it is and it isn't. First of all, wattage, yes, it's a unit of measurement. But it's not a unit of measurement of output, the power or the amount of, you know, light or sound that something may give. Wattage is a measurement of input. You know, if, if it's a 10 watt LED, it's not saying this light is 10 watts bright. There's no such thing. What it's saying is this light is consuming 10 watts to operate at optimum efficiency. Okay, great. So the same thing with sound, right? When you have a 100 watt speaker, what it's saying is that this, and it's different with powered speakers, but if you're looking at just the driver, it's saying, hey, look, this driver can take about 100 watts. Now, with sound is a little bit different, right? Because with speakers, you have your RMS, your mean wattage, and you have your peak, right? What's, what, what can you handle in short bursts? And we'll touch that on just a second. But first, let's look at, uh, at when it comes to lighting. Wattage doesn't matter when it comes to lighting. What you want to look at is the lumens or the lux output. Now, I'm going to do another video really explaining the differences between lumens and lux, but that's really what you want to look at. And you don't want to compare the lumens of one versus the lux of the other. Make sure it's kind of even. But what you'll see is whenever you go to a lighting, uh, you know, any lighting website, like for example, ADJ, right? And you check out the ADJ icon profile or check out the InnoSpot Pro, right? That's my favorite moving head. So if you're looking at those, yeah, it says, you know, 80 watt LED or in the case of the icon profile, 32 watt LED. But that's not what, you're, what you want to look at. You want to look at the lumen output and it's rated on lumens, not on Lux on their website. But basically it shows you lumens and it shows you at different degrees and at different distances. Please understand that there's a huge difference. So what happens is some, it depends on, you know, who the manufacturer is and some of them give you all sorts of ratings, but you have the output from the aperture, right? So we have the light here. Okay. Now this is a 15 to 30 degree light. So some of them will give you the output of three different areas. I know ADJ does this quite a bit. They'll tell you the output of the aperture. Okay. And then it may tell you at, you know, let's say, 10 meters, or I'll say like 1 meter, 10 meters, 50 meters, whatever the case may be, right? It's a little bit different depending on each light, but it also gives you the degree. So this is 15 through 30. So is it 1 meter at 15 degrees or 1 meter at 30 degrees? 
In the case of the InnoSpot Pros, and I know this because I just looked this up a couple of days ago, it shows you because the InnoSpot Pro, you can focus from 12 to 17 degrees. So it'll tell you, okay, here's how bright it is at this distance at 12 degrees and then at 17 degrees. So if you're looking at two lights and you say, well, this one's brighter at 12, you know, at, at one meter. Okay, but that's 12 degrees as opposed to 17 degrees. What is it when it's both the same field angle? because that's really gonna matter. Obviously at 17 degrees, that light's getting dispersed out a little bit more, so that rating is not gonna look as bright as if the light was more focused in. I hope that makes sense. Again, if you visualize a GoPro projector like this one with a zoom lens, it's a, the LED doesn't raise in brightness or whatnot, right? it just stays solid. We haven't stayed solid. If I go from 15 to 30, as I make it wider, you know that 30 is gonna get a little bit dimmer. It's gonna look dimmer across the board because now we're taking that light and focusing it to a much wider area. I hope that makes sense because that's pretty much how that lumens rating will work. So stop looking at wattage, okay? Because wattage means nothing. You know, this, like I said, this here is only a 32 watt LED, but it's a very efficient LED and you have a smaller surface area. Watch my video review on this where I talk about surface area because it really changes how everything works out. When you're looking at like the smaller moving heads, you know, like the Inno Pocket series, oh, it's only a 10 or 12 watt LED. Yes, but again, smaller surface area, better optics. And that's the other thing, right? You could have two identical LEDs, but if one's using glass optics and the other's using plastic optics, or they're both using glass optics, but one of them is really cheap, crappy knockoff optics because you decided to buy direct shame on you, then one is gonna look brighter than the other. Not to mention that some companies, and if you're buying direct, this is probably happening to you, they overdrive their LEDs. Look, you don't just run power straight to an LED. You have to have literally an LED driver. So you could have a 10 watt LED with a 15 watt driver. And that 15 watt driver is gonna send 15 watts to that LED. And that LED may light up a little bit brighter than it would if it was only uh, getting 10 watts. But guess what, buddy? You're gonna burn that out a lot faster. So again, wattage. Get that out of your vocabulary. Now, let's go into speakers. Really hate when people ask wattage and speakers because it doesn't matter. And maybe this is from my car audio days. We never looked at wattage. We looked at it, well, we did look, you know, when we're shopping speakers like, wow, holy crap, this thing can handle 1200 watts RMS. You never look at peak. I hate looking at peak. I hate it, just stop it. And program, look, I don't know what the hell program is, but that's not a real unit of measurement as far as I'm concerned. I, I don't like it. I look at program. I mean, excuse me, at RMS, not program, not peak. RMS. And basically, that just means the mean wattage. Because remember, audio continuously going up and down. You're never playing, a, you know, let's say it's a 1500 watt sub. I guarantee you that sub isn't getting 1500 watts, especially if you're only playing it, you know, real quiet during dinner. So again, that wattage doesn't matter. So what are you looking at when it comes to powered speakers or even a passive speaker? Well, wattage really won't matter at powered speaker because your amp may be able to handle this much. Your drivers can handle this much. Wait, how much can your crossover handle? Wait, crossovers can handle only a certain amount of wattage? Yes, crossovers also have a wattage rating because again, it's a unit of how much power something can, can you know, is consuming for it to operate at maximum efficiency, right? So what are you looking at for speakers? You're looking at output, sensitivity, right? It's uh, 120 decibels, okay. From where? From one meter away? From, you know, 10 meters away? <laughs> right against the actual speaker? There's a huge difference. And then, this is something you always wanna ask speaker manufacturers if it's not listed on the website. Is it calculator, is it measured? Basically, calculator, sometimes they'll use it for words for it, just means we use the computer algorithm to give us the generalized, uh, generalized idea of what the speaker can handle. Okay, fine. Somebody got paid a lot of money to engineer that number. They must know more than I do. But I like it when it's measured. And that's literally where they took a dB meter and they measured it. And they actually have proof that it hit that certain amount, whether, you know, it's, you know, whether it's a sub or a top, they actually had it professionally metered out. This is really important because again, wattage doesn't matter. For those of us that have been doing this for a long time, I've been you know, a DJ for a huge time, it's like 12 years now that I've been doing this professionally, right? But I've been doing car audio for a heck of a long time. Before I could even drive, I was playing around with car audio. Nobody ever looked at wattage, at least nobody that was worth anything in the, in the car audio business. You, you knew that it was three things that it came, when it came to proper 
sound out of your car system. First of all, the box. How well designed is the box? You know, a folded horn is going to be much different than a band pass, which is much different than a sealed box, right? Now, we don't call them sealed boxes in the pro auto field, but you get my idea. Uh, the other thing is, how, what's the sensitivity of the actual driver itself? You know, what sound can it put per meter per watt? And that's usually how it's rated. And, and the last thing is, what's the amp that you're driving it with? And if you're using passive, what kind of cabling? Look, I'm not saying you have to buy some monster cabling, but you can't sit there and use this tiny, really, really thin wire and you want to push out 500 watts RMS. It, it's just not going to happen, all right? You're, you're going to have some issues, so you got to use the proper cabling. Now, with powered speakers, that's obviously changed the entire playing field because you don't have to worry about that as much. It's pretty much a kit ready to go. But don't look at wattage. Whether you're looking at speakers, whether you're looking at lights, stop looking at wattage. Be an educated consumer. You know what? Look at the lights that you have around you, and you're going to be really surprised when you look at your lumens comparison versus other lights or even lights in your arsenal versus other lights in your arsenal. Same thing with speakers and so forth. And don't forget that speakers also have different dispersion angles, okay? Some of them are 90 by 60. Some of them are, you know, only 35 degrees wide, whatever the case may be. So you really want to look at that. So I really hope that helps answer some of the questions. And again, if you see somebody saying, hey, how many watts is this? Or even use the word wattage, show them this video. Let's fix the DJ industry and let's make DJing great again.